and welcome to my channel it's Rebecca also known as a four kids at 147 and I've got an unboxing today from dreamers designs um, now some of you who watch my videos regularly sorry I've got a brew it's story time um, who watch my videos regularly may know that um, a while ago I did an unboxing from a company and then I was notified that actually one of the images that I'd chosen from this company um, was actually their own artwork and shouldn't have been shown. So I of course removed the video, removed that artwork, um, that's not what I'm about. Um, and while I do try and check all images that I get, occasionally things do happen. So um, the company was also contacted and they've said that they've you know dealt with that with the artist however i also still wanted to show my support to that artist so i did try to contact them via email and via a web page link on their website when i of course knew who they were however both of them bounced back to me um, but i did decide to go and support them and purchase one of their designs um, that they allow dreamer designs to do they have an agreement with them so that is what this is so the original image that i had incorrectly chosen um from the website was not available however another one by the same artist was so i chose that one um, now this wasn't the, the cheapest i'm sorry <laughs> however um it, it was purely a mistake on my part and anything I can do to put that right I'm, I'm going to do so this painting actually cost 49 pounds 64 to ship to me um, and in addition I did get customs on it and um, because it shipped from the states and of course it was above the bracket where you don't pay that no it's not that import tax whatever it is anyway it cost me a pretty penny so it did end up costing about 60 pounds however i have heard good things about this company and it has been a while since i've treated myself to a posher painting um so i'm very excited to see how nice this is so i'm just trying to get in the end and oh it's already feeling posher i mean look at this so i've just taken it out of the box and we have a bag for the diamond painting with dreamer designs on it wow i didn't get any shipping notification for this or anything in fact we actually thought it was a picture for my daughter so she paid the customs because i bought the painting um, turns out I know over the customs <laughs> oopsie but look at this so this comes in a drawstring bag so that you can house everything together I'm already loving it and then oh so we have the canvas oh we have another little drawstring bag and that one's that one's soft and velvety And then we have diamonds with ABs, I must say. And then we have more diamonds. And that's the drawstring bag empty. But oh, how is that for storage? Okay, I might have to treat myself to one of these more often. So we do have three ABs. I'm pretty sure that's what the listing said as well. Um, but the design I went for was Contemplation, which I thought was very apt as well. Um, and let's see if this, oh, open it. I've got a bigger, I've got a wider um, viewpoint on my camera than I normally do. And even so, it's not going to get all of this paint in. Hopefully, oh, okay, so we have 
more stuff. I will go through that in a moment. It looks like a pour glue. It does come on a foam roller. And I did choose a square. Oh, so this is it. So it's legally licensed from Anne-Marie Bone. And this is the image that I chose that was in stock. I say the original image that I had done an unboxing on um, that I shouldn't have done and therefore will not be on your chubs anymore um, was not in stock but this one was and I still thought it was pretty um, we have 52 colours three of which are AB and that's the image so to go all the way down to the bottom because this is a big painting so this is 80 by 60 so we've got the gorgeous bench and landscape here at the bottom and then we go up to the trees and I didn't receive any shipping notification or anything for this painting but absolutely gorgeous symbols look very clear um, and there is actually see if you can see this there is actually a border around the painting I've not seen that before so the, it has like a border that is the actual image before you start getting onto the diamond painting part. That's interesting, that's different. I quite like that actually. That is quite, I quite like that. So let me see if you can see it. What's the other corner like? It's a very big painting to deal with. Okay, the other corner is very similar, um, but yeah, it has this border all the way around where there's actually no symbols, but the image does continue, like gives it a bit of a framing. Um, symbols look all look clear from what I can see, and I'm hoping that the diamonds are very nice to work with. So far, I'm very impressed. Um, okay, what was the other stuff that we got in there? So, oh, we get a sheet of symbols and letters and numbers. So that will be awesome for kitting up. So I'll be using that when I kit it up. And then we have uh, join the dreamer community. So join a community full of positive diamond painters today. We love to see your work in progress and it's exclusive access with the purchase of your kit. And then we have a little instruction about peeling back the film, um, finding the symbol, etc. And yeah, basically how to do your diamond painting so all the information that you need there and a sheet for labeling which is awesome okay oh i'm actually quite excited let's have a look at the toolkit so say we've got this little velvet pouch what do we have so we have two clear clear glitter with a little sparkle diamond painting pens we have the nice tweezers um, with Dreamer Designs, not the angled, they are the pointy pointy, pointy pointy ones. Ooh. We have two diamond painting trays and they also have Dreamer Designs printed on the back. I guess we pay some pennies for that. Uh, we have two little pots of wax, again with Dreamer's Designs on bought the little pots of wax oh, and they're like cut in circles that fit exactly in there I'll be using those uh, we have two pen grips uh, we have baggies and these are just the the cheaper baggies as I call them the thinner ones with the red stripe on uh, but you do get a lot so 
I wouldn't be surprised if you got enough for the collars that you have. And then we have, oh, so we have the long straightening tool. I've not got the long one, I've got the shorter one. That'll be interesting. Um, and then it looks like we've got a six placer and a three placer. So, and as I say, a gorgeous velvet bag. That is a little bit of luxury. So that is the toolkit. So you've got plenty of the nice stuff in there to do your painting. And then, so the bags look like they're done by weight. We do have the MC numbers on them. And just to quickly run through the colours. So these are all the colours that we have. We've all got the Dreamers designs on the front. And on the back, it does tell you the number and the DMC number. So the number on the chart and the DMC number. But that's going to be, this is going to be a fun one to fit up. Oh, look at those pinks. We've got loads of pinks. Reds, oranges, and they're, they're both different oranges as well, so that'll be good for shading. I do like it when we get a few colours that the DMC numbers are similar. So we've actually got 740, 741, 742 twice and 743, which means we've probably got a nice bit of shading in this. And we've got some blues, some more reds and some more blues. And then for bag number two, and I'm not going to be trying to get these back in here. These will go into a, a separate baggie. But then, so I'm going backwards now, but you're getting the idea. So a couple of the colours are the same one, so they are both number 42, but they are done by weight because some are heavier bags than others. Oh, that one's got the ABs on the end. Let's do the others and save the ABs for last. Just put some really nice lot of greens in there going to give us some good shading. 995 and 996. Some purples and then these are the ABs. So we've got AB in yellow, AB in like a creamy white and then AB in a lime green. So we've got three AB colours in that absolutely gorgeous so where is oh that was it the inventory sheet so we do have three tens um and the symbols are all looking pretty clear you know they're all looking like symbols that you could give a name for when you're saying it over and over in your head i'd probably call that one a hammer it's probably not a hammer, but that's probably what I'd call it, or a pickaxe. But yeah, very clear. Very nice. So that's a surprise. I actually, because I've not had a shipping notification or anything, I wasn't expecting it. But it looks like a nice canvas. It's very sticky. It does feel like a poured glue. Um, but the glue doesn't go over into this edge lip. Um, it's not furry on the back though. Um, it's not a furry canvas, but it does look a nice quality canvas. And it looks like there's quite a bit of confetti, which makes me think you will get the shading in it. But yeah, gorgeous. So, that is my treat canvas. Um, I hope you've enjoyed this unboxing and thank you so much for watching and I'll speak to you all again soon.